Okay. Hello, welcome to a new thing. It's uh, it's Vault Hunters Plus, but it's also Sky Vaults. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty cool. I don't fully know. These give you Vault Crystals. Oh, okay. It's just that simple. That's quite nice. Um, I should probably just, I guess, break these guys and we can farm crystals up. I don't know if they correspond to my level, but our starting thing was conduit power, which is okay, I guess. Doesn't seem to be anything else that we can really grab, so might as well just go into a vault. Um, hopefully we can get some stuff before dying. I don't fully know how this works, but since this is Vault Hunters Plus, we are going to be able to instantly go for quite exactly what we need. So first off, it's a monolith vault. So got to make sure to turn on monolith and gilded chests as well as uh, ornate chests. And hopefully we will actually get something. So this first room seems to be a kind of mine room, which is going to be quite useful. Uh, we're going to have to get some wood. Then we're going to have to make some tools using that wood, which should be just what I'm going to do right here. Just getting enough for a pickaxe. And then got to come over here, grab some stone. Just getting enough stone for pickaxe, because then we can make stone pickaxe. And then hopefully we can find some iron. I don't know if there's any iron. Let me just turn that back on. There we go. Iron ore has been turned on now. So it seems like there is a little bit. In addition to us, I don't fully know how the regeneration works with this, but we should be able to at least get a little bit of a head start, especially since this is, I think, a pretty good room. I don't fully know if all the rooms are like this for Sky Vaults, or if this is just a room like the starting room or something because I genuinely don't have a clue about any of this so just gonna end up mining a bit and then I will uh, check back in once I get all the stuff that I need okay found a mob spawner down here I'm kind of afraid of it so we're just gonna, gonna casually leave um should be able to just Come over here, grab some more coal. That's all I really need right now. Then we'll be able to get the diamonds and such. Yeah, just collecting resources. Just got an iron pick, so now we should be able to go get all the diamonds. Just give me a second to do that. Ended up only being five diamonds in here, meaning that we can make a pickaxe and a sword. Should be good enough for now. I just can't really get hit. Which is okay, because, I mean, I'm not planning on getting hit quite a bit. But I am going to have to focus on getting a couple more resources in this vault. And we ended up getting five more iron, meaning that boots are going to be my next thing. And a shovel, because having a shovel will be quite useful, especially for right now. Just for getting around. I should probably also make a stone axe. And now we should just run around and see if we can get anything else. I don't know if all the rooms are the same. Also, I should probably... It's just straight this way, right? I think. I hope. Yeah. Yeah, it's just straight this way, so gotta mark that. Um... Game rule. Vault. Allow waypoints. True. Wait. False? True. Course dirt. Oh god. EMC. Two. Oh. There we go. Okay. Well, now I have that set. And now I'm just kind of going to run through this and hope that we can get some stuff. Mostly looking for the monoliths because the monolith crate is going to end up being quite useful as well. So we should probably add living chests because we're currently running out of food living chests i need green because they will have food in them hopefully we can get something soon well that's not very good we died by magic um 
Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. I'm gonna go see if we can get anything. Wait. Those, those, do those exist, IRL? No, they do not. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go see what I can end up getting actually from this vault. Hopefully it's more than nothing. Okay, so I just opened up my first ornate. And apparently they actually have good stuff in them. So I might not have had to make all the stuff that I already made. Which is a bit unfortunate, but I'm not too disappointed. Um, from what I can tell... I'm just gonna go for the monoliths and hope that we can get enough stuff and level up. So, yeah. That's what I'm gonna focus on for now. Okay, I seem to have found the last monolith. It's right over here. Just very quickly off the bat, there also seems to be a living dungeon right there. Which will be quite useful. I still don't know why I can't walk up slabs. Uh, I just genuinely have no clue. So, if you have any idea why I'm not able to walk up slabs, please let me know in the comments. It's, it's, uh, it's actually get, getting me quite concerned. Anyway, let's just... Ooh, okay, th this guy has an ability. Which, well, which ability is it? Invisibility, Ooh, that's gonna actually be very useful. How much does it cost? Seven player levels. And I'll need one more, two more mob kills, which is perfect. There's no swing through grass on here, apparently, which is unfortunate. Do mobs still aggro when I'm completely invisible? Will they still aggro is the real question. These are the real questions. Will they continue to aggro? If not, I'm happy. If so, I'm sad. I'm gonna need a lot of dirt, though, so maybe before we get out, I just mine a bunch of dirt. Uh, if you have any more suggestions for things I should do in here, please let me know. Also, if you know why I can't walk up slabs normally in here, please let me know as well. I'm very confused. I will need a grass seed block at some point in time. Uh that I can get started, but for now, I think I'm just gonna try and see what more loot we can get from, uh, ornate chests, meaning like, uh, I mean, mostly just gear. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see how this ends up being. Okay, so this is my last golden carrot, and I think I'm gonna get out of the vault now. Just killed so many mobs. Mine so much stuff. We should have enough to fully level up, plus we'll get the crate, which will be crazy. I did end up finding one identified idol in the vault, which is kind of massive. Since we don't need heal off level one, since we have uh, our nefarious ways of getting heals, I do want to go for critical strike because early on it will be super useful. Same with experienced. Um, but first off, we should probably get some stuff set down here. Um, probably make a chest or two. Uh, probably would have been a good idea to get a little bit more for those, but... This one will be, like, normal stuff, and then, uh, this one will be vault stuff, which I will hopefully be getting more of soon. Um, I'll be able to run another vault once we get more of these guys growing, so I'll just have to wait. I'll have to see if I can find more budding crystal. Or, actually, I should probably... Is there a way to move this chest? Nope. Okay, well... Just gonna have to do that, and put you here, then. And now I gotta clear out this underneath, and over here. Or I might move it all together. I might change the configs so that we can also do a bit of duping. Uh, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> should be quite interesting. Anyway, that's going to be the end for this episode. Aside from, we have a chest, they have this to open. And that means that we have vault stuff to put in here. And we have small gear to roll. So, let's just roll this. Also, if there are no timestamps in this video, my bad. Uh, I'm getting kind of lazy with them, so sorry. 
Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah. I mean, we did get two levels of haste in the vault. And that sword way better than our current sword. So, diamond sword bye-bye. Poison immunity, massive. And, uh, yeah, I'm super happy about that. Diamond sword goes bye-bye. And I'm gonna find a way to duplicate this budding crystal. So, anyway, GG's. Peace. Have a great day. See you next time.